this is uh, Galaxy Lloyd from uh, Zombies to Aliens on Net. Um, uh, I'm going to be doing this. Uh, this, is, this video is going to be for uh, new Alienware Alpha owners. It's a uh, tips and tricks and uh, kind of orientation video. I feel that uh, most people have been skipping the, the manual. They did not RTFM. So uh, this is just a little bit of things I do to make sure my uh, installation of my uh, my Alpha runs pretty clean. And uh, it runs at the most frames I can. So uh, first and foremost, um, I run in desktop mode. Um, the console mode is is okay if you want, but uh, I just think desktop mode is much better. It's a uh, console mode. If if you're used to the console and you're using the controller, um, you can do that. But really, it's gonna give you some trouble in the end. It's gonna require updates for me from Alienware and uh, if you just connect up a keyboard and mouse and just use it like a computer it'll, you'll be better, better off. Okay first and foremost um, uh, the Alienware Alpha is uh, a small PC so you're going to be concerned you're going to be concerned with uh, uh, thermal problems later it, how hot it's going to get so the first thing I want you to do after you set up the Alpha you go to desktop mode um, you install your antivirus and, and whatnot. Just go ahead and install uh, some kind of a temperature monitor. Now, what I've got here, you go to cpuid.com. It's free. Go and get the uh, hardware monitor for Windows. Just click it. Starts to download. Try it. Whatever. Just go down here. Download version 1.27 for Windows. This is the free version, 30, 32 and 64-bit version. If you don't know. Obviously, you're, you're on Windows 8, a 64-bit version. Go ahead and click uh, Setup. You'll start your download. Uh, right there, download now. Already got it, but I'll download it anyways. And you're going to click that Execute, and it'll load up. Um, pre oh, also, preferably, you, you're using something other than Internet Explorer. I'm uh, very impartial. Chrome, so very biased to Chrome rather, and uh, hopefully you're using something with better plugins and pop up blockers and whatnot. Chrome, if you just go ahead and add, um, use a uh, ad block, uh, you're pretty golden. All right, so I've already got it, got it here. CPU ID. I usually keep it, um, keep it there uh, on the desktop. Now, all the important things you want to be uh, saying here are the temperatures for your uh, Core i3, your and your video card. Voltages and clocks; those are all important. But I don't think you, for the new Alpha owners, you're going to be doing it. Now, right now, I'm uh, I'm recording, so it's a bit high, um, ideally, and it'll give you a min and max, uh, your current value right here down this one. You can keep this open, it's not too process intensive, um, but you want to check these every now and then. You want to make sure that your temperatures are what they are. You, you need to see a baseline of what your temperatures are. For the Alienware Alpha, um, that I3, that low voltage I3, 4130 Tango, it's, uh, it's going to run about 48 degrees idle. That's what you want. So if you see higher than that, there better be something um, on the task manager that's uh, running right now. So. Obviously, I'm recording. Um, so 53. Yeah, it'll go up to it. It shouldn't go higher than a 70 on an in, intensive game. If it, it goes up to 79, sometimes you gotta keep an eye out when it goes to 80, 90 degrees. It, you're not overclocking, so it shouldn't get too that hot. If it gets triple digits, you wanna open up your alpha and get a duster and blow the crap out of it. You wanna <laughs> you wanna uh, keep it as dust free. As possible, I yeah, blow the crap out of it. Sorry about that phrasing, but uh, yeah. So CPU ID, check that. Um, I would keep it up uh, a lot, um, but check that every now and then. If you're running a brand new game, you want to see how it runs. Uh, keep it open, see what your max temps are, and you can get a baseline. Heat is the number one killer for computers, so that's what I want you to think about. If you had, if you're coming home with 360 to the um, Alienware. You know what I'm talking about. Alright, so first and foremost, um, we're going to kill Chrome because Chrome is a big hog. Um, AT 
opens up everything. So, so first and foremost, this is the mantra I want you to keep in mind when you're using your alpha. I control everything on this damn computer. Look at that. CPU, open up the task manager, see what the hell's running. Uh, right now, you know, obviously I'm doing beta cam. Um, 23, memory, go ahead and uh, see what's using up your memory. 23% for beta cam, whatever. Okay, I got Steam open right now. Um, the Steam, that's fine when you're running games, it's fine. Um, but this web helter, you can you can kill that. It eats up stuff. That's like stuff that uh, loads up uh, in the Steam browser, like uh, videos and stuff like that. You can kill it. It'll it'll come back up, but uh, um, it if you're just running a game, it won't come up right right away. Um, so uh, let's talk about Alienware uh, Respawn. I want you to. There's tons of videos out there that how to do recovery. Uh, recovery little uh, USB stick for Alienware Respawn. Go ahead and make a recovery Alienware disk that'll bring your alpha back to factory settings so you have that USB stick in the future when say uh, the thermal problems just have, do, do, do become a problem and you have to bring it back to um, factory settings. That is your holy grail. So after you do that all this stupid backup and recovery crap that comes this all this bloatware with uh, the alpha kill it just absolutely kill it. You don't need that much, uh, that much crap on there. Look at the DBR Dell Backup Recovery Crawler. Dell Backup and Recovery, 7.3 megabytes of RAM you being used there. Just kill all of the. After you do the respawn, of course. Kill all of the Dell Backup and Recovery crap. It's stupid. There's the um, web web helper already coming up. Basically, what you want to do is you bring down. On idle, how much memory you are? I could only bring it down to about 16%. Um, I noticed that other people you, they brought it down perfectly down to 8%. So if you do have tips and tricks for me, that's great. Put them on the comments and whatnot. But I can only get it about 18%. Now the big one I'll show you. So these are the processes. Um, if you right click, you can actually see uh, more. Go to details. Boom, goes to details. Um, go to services. The one, one I kill all the time on services is Superfetch. Now people are going to be like, don't stop Superfetch, I think it's important. I don't know where Superfetch is. Screw Superfetch. Stop it. Superfetch eats up a lot of RAM on your, your first uh, service host. So I, I like to kill it. Um, but the one of the, let's go to details rather. Okay, one of the big things that I've already stopped that you don't want on your alpha right now see where it is. Let's go to services. I believe it's uh, I-O-L-O. -O. No. This one right here. I-O-L-O -O Energy Booster. Now this is a, a program that runs specifically on console mode. Console mode on the um, Alienware Alpha that uh, you can go check the website. But it's just some stupid process stopper that like runs in the background. Any program that you get for your computer that speeds up your computer is a dumb program. Don't use it. Do not use it. It is the dumbest thing ever. So what you want to do is right click, stop, I-O-L-O, -O, energy booster. You don't need it running in the background. And this is uh, things that, you know, uh, uh, this is not for advanced people. This is for people that are just getting on the computer that don't know what they're doing and this is stuff that um, tons of computer people that have, that have played on computers for long as possible remember from the old Windows XP, Windows ME, Windows early and that but going into the task manager making sure Explorer and System Tray was the only thing running and your antivirus so uh, this is stuff that it's gotten a little bit more complicated as far as the processes that are shown but uh, yeah so a lot of people like to t turn off the um, Alienware FX services, stuff like that. Um, I recommend just do do the base ones I do, you know. Uh, I like to keep the controller hooked up and use some of those short keys for uh, on that controller. Because that program for Alienware, the, the controller program, is actually not too bad. So let's see, so we killed most everything, we killed all those DAC backup and recovery thing. I like I like killing the OneDrive. I hate OneDrive. So now we go 
to our little test bar. Look, I only got that. That my Anna Warris uh, Bluetooth thing. You can turn off Bluetooth if you want. Uh, just the uh, Intel rapid storage, whatever. Steam and Bandicam and the control panel for the uh, NVIDIA i 60 m Alright, so now let's go ahead and open Steam. Let's try some game. APDT. Okay, let's do armor. Oh, it needs to update, bloody hell. Let's not do armor. Also, uh, if you got the beta update, um, to get a little bit more frames, um, go to settings and your Steam. And go ahead and if you if you don't use broadcasting, go ahead and disable broadcasting. That will use extra RAM. Um, what else? Disable broadcasting. Um, in game, go with that. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Just make sure broad broadcasting is disabled. Let's see if I have a, a full game here that we can, we can run. Skyrim, there you go. Go ahead and play Skyrim. Play on this machine. Yeah, go with that. Okay, Skyrim is kind of a kind of a one that doesn't uh, alt tap good, but hopefully you can force it. Now what you're going to do whenever you run a game is open up the task manager. See what we uh, we're putting our Skyrim on. Let's go ahead and uh, force it to 1080p, like samples, whatever. Let's do. Uh, let's see what advanced got now. I'm on high ultra, whatever. Let's see how we. Let's see what ultra high does. I think I think it looks pretty good on here. Yeah. Oh, does it put a full screen? FXA. Click OK. Get the test manager up. Cheap. Minimize it a little bit. Play. Have a quick play. There we go. I got uh, my uh, Roseville Vibration headsets. So <laughs> that was kind of scary. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, load a game. Um, okay. The Dietra princes are godlike beings that inhabit the planet of oblivion. Most are considered evil by forcing their worshippers to bail the shrines from uh, far, far from civilized places. But, uh, right. So this is uh, Skyrim. Uh, it looks pretty good, I guess. Person mode. First person mode. F. F. Anyways, uh. First working good. Uh, like, uh, what's it called?
called? Uh, oh, I'm such an idiot. It might be uh, the placebo effect. I'm doing this because uh, it might work better, but in my experience, it does. It actually does work. Kill the background bosses is uh, for priority high on the front down. And uh, that's about it. Uh, make sure you monitor your temperatures. And oh, and real quick, quick to say. Just up. Yes, please. Okay, and, and real quick. Um, I know what I was going to say. Uh, Control Shift H is the shortcut key to get to your HDMI input on desktop mode so if you have your 360 connected into the alphas back there the HDMI in to switch to the 360 you just press Control shift H right now I've got mine uh, connected to the uh, Roku and this is a uh, Sky News Live actually something happening in Chelsford anyways uh, Control shift H to go back and uh, know where that loud sound is and yeah that's about that's about it so quick uh, HDMI switch in there another little feature there on my alpha it's not going to record obviously on Bandicam or whatever so uh, go to zombiesetailings.net you can comment there on this post I will reply quicker there than the YouTube I have like a little bit of a delay there on the YouTube um, Go to check out our stream twitch.tv zombies slash uh, zombies to aliens. We uh, stream every uh, every Saturday at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time for the U.S. And that's about it. This is Galaxoid, your Aussie Bitten Rangers.